Hello there, Carrie Rhodes here with another YouTube mystery swap challenge with my friend Jen Hartsgrove of Katahdin Crafts. Today we are challenging each other to create with the barn and build a camper from Honeybee Stamps and create Halloween cards. And so that's what I've done, making my very first light up card and of course a shaker card mixed in there too. So let's take a look at the things that Jen sent me. When she sent me my last package, she actually sent me stuff for two months. So some of the stuff you're seeing here I used in a previous video, but I am using the build a camper stamp set these die cuts that she sent me random like trees and bats and cats and branches and jack-o-lanterns and fun things as well as the lights so here are the exact things that i'm using for today's card some of them i did die cut with her build a camper stamp set that she sent me and some of them are things that she already die cut and i'm using this string of lights right here and we're going to start off by creating a background to put this camper on. So I am ink blending over a mask that will be my moon with Seedless Preserves Distress Oxide ink. And then I'm gonna go all around that with my Dusty Concord. And once I have that filled in for my night sky, I'm gonna bring back the Seedless Preserve just so I can like blend it out a little bit better and have a little bit more of that Seedless Preserves showing through. And then I'm gonna set that aside and work on the portion of my background that will become the grass. So I'm starting with twisted citron and then bringing in crushed olive. But I didn't really love the crushed olive. It was just a little too yellowy. So I actually brought in my mowed lawn and went over the top of that and liked that color combination much better for this particular card. Now to darken that out, I am putting on some black soot with a very light hand. And I'm gonna do that around the night sky to just to darken up those edges. I will spritz them both with water because I love that look. And then we're gonna bring in some silks from Fun Stamper's Journey to splatter the background. I have electric lime and sparkle silk for my grassy background. The sparkle silk is uh, clear, it just has shimmer in it. And all the colors of silks also have shimmer in them like this one cosmic grape that I'm using for the night sky. And then I'll use the sparkle silk on this one too. They do dry back a lot lighter. And because I'm covering this up with so many things, I don't care if I put on a ton of that splatter. So I'm peeling off my mask and where it stayed wet, some of the adhesive stayed down and I was able to remove those little flecks with my my adhesive eraser. Now just to soften out my moon so it's not so stark white, I went over that a tiny bit with my Seedless Preserves sponge. Now I'm using some border dies to cut my grass. I'm going to do a hill with the simple stitch tills and then the grassy border as well. Now I'm going to glue on um, some parts and pieces to my camper so I can figure out where I want my door and window to go. I'm going to trace those out and bring in the window die and cut out a window into the camper. For the smaller window that is in the door, I don't believe there is a die for this that would cut out just the window. So I'm using my X-Acto knife. This is not my strong suit, y'all. <laughs> but I've learned to go slow and use light pressure and go around more than one time versus trying to press hard. So I'm gonna lay some stuff out on my card so I can figure out where the camper's gonna go and trace those windows again into the card front of my project. Then I can die cut out that window again and of course, the little window with the exacto knife. Again, it's really good practice for me. So I did that and then I decided I needed a little bit more mowed lawn across the bottom in case any of that white is gonna peek out from behind how I'm gonna put on my grass. I'm covering up all of the windows with a piece of vellum on my card front as well as on my camper. So that will give them a little frosted window. And then adding on that window frame and door the awning, my wheel and hubcap, and the little piece that covers the hitch, a door frame, a door handle, and a cute pumpkin. Now I'm lining up the windows by holding this up to the light and then putting a little mark where my camper will touch the moon so I can put that back in place more easily after I add my grassy hill and then my grassy piece popped up with some foam tape. 
I'll add in the fences, the branches, and some bats and jack-o'-lanterns to finish off this scene. And once those are in place, then it's time to add in a notch where you can turn the switch on and off for the lights. So I'm adding the light pack battery with some double stick tape and then I'm gonna bring in some good old scotch tape to tape down all these wires. I'm just gonna wind this in and around my vellum windows. Now I got the top of the wire a little too high and it's gonna show on the outside of my camper and I don't want it to show there, I just want it to show from behind the camper so I will end up trying to kind of mask that with my sentiment and things at the end so for now just coiling this up and taping it down as I go and so I greatly sped this up because you get the idea <laughs> and um, I went pretty slow in doing this so there you can see me just getting it all wrapped around I figured if the wires showed from through the windows it might just look like you know, something's going on on the inside, there's maybe a crack in the window, and I thought that was okay for a Halloween scene. So I'm testing it out and adjusting where I need to, and I think it's pretty cool. So I'm adding some super thick fun foam in and around that battery pack, but the battery pack is still higher than my thick foam, so I added a second layer of foam, this time thin foam. And then I'm gonna add some double stick tape, and we're gonna cut away from the voiceover so you can hear what happened right about now as I remove the backing. My daughter came in. Baby doll, thank you for the love. What in the world are you making? I'll show you. <laughs> you get it stuck down. It's a science experiment. <laughs> That's not, that was no card. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna use a little liquid glue so I have wiggle room. <laughs> okay, make sure the bottom of the card. And about the same. The lights in my camper turn on. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me? You do it. No, you just turn the light on. Video. No, I'll cut it out. What do you think? That's <laughs> awesome. Thanks. I thought it'd be fun just to share that little bit of excitement. She gasped when she turned the light on. I loved it. All right, so I'm adding a panel to the inside because the top of this card is so heavy. You need a little something on the inside. I am gonna decorate that up and I'll show pictures of that in just a minute because right here I only show where I added the cat. Because then I decided I'm gonna try and mask where the lights extend outside the camper. So I stamped Happy Halloween from this Fox costume stamp set and embossed it with some clear powder that has a glitter mixed in and I'm going to flag the end of that and I'll add it to the card with some foam tape right about where the top of the camper meets the branch right in between there and it really covered up that part that lights up that kind of shouldn't and then I was like um this white foam is a little much from the edge so I colored it in with a black Copic marker and I love that it has a more finished off look. I added a couple more bats to help mask that extra light that should not be there and then um, when I was doing that I remembered I have a black Wink of Stella pen that I've barely used and got it to use for Halloween so I colored over the bats and the tree with it and I loved it. Then I used my clear wink of Stella on the pumpkin and jack-o'-lanterns and um, I did end up adding one more bat which you'll see this is these cards were the cards that never ended 
I just kept adding more and more as I went, but the bats really helped cover up things that needed to be covered up. So I love how my first light up card turned out. I hope that you do too. This is a really easy way to do a light up card without having to worry about copper tape. And I was inspired by my friend Nia who recently made a light up card that was her first as well. So thanks Nia for the inspiration. These are all the things that I sent to Jen. I sent her my build a, a build a barn die set, some fun papers. I already die cut a bunch of things. I have bats, eyeballs, buttons, and that's what I'm going to use to make this card. So here you can see the um, sunset sky I made with wild honey, ripe persimmons, and seedless preserves. Here's my gra um, grassy panel with the same colors I used in the first card, and I'm softening out or adding color really to the sun because this is more of a sunset card than a sunset in that same wild honey. And you can see all the splatters I added to that. So fun, I added gold in with it. Now I made my background pieces to match the pattern paper and I think it turned out really good. Now I'm taking my die cut barn and using my scoring tool to add some like lines that will look like wood planks to this barn just to give it some added interest. And you can see I already die cut windows into this barn. This is not how the barn comes. It, when you die cut it, it is solid. But I added those in because I knew I would be making a shaker card. So I had to die cut all my pieces before I sent Jen my die set to borrow for this video. So she is going to be making cards with the stuff that she sent me and with the stuff that I sent her. So the fun part of this is being able to see what somebody else creates with the exact same things and the exact same challenge, which was Halloween. So it's fun to do Halloween with a barn and with a camper, I think. So it's gonna be great to see what Jen makes as well. So I will link her video for you below to check out. So I am making this barn into a shaker with three different windows. I added my window sheets and my foam tape, and then I'm putting different shaker elements in each window. The bats that I sent to Jen, pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns I had on hand, and some seed beads um, from my friend Nia, who I just mentioned. She started her own Etsy shop. I've been using her embellishments on all my shakers lately because I love them, so I'll link her shop for you below. I traced out one of the barns onto my pattern paper and die cut or cut that out with scissors and cut off the edges and tried to cut it a little bit smaller to be the backer for my barn. And then I'm gonna add in all those die cut pieces to finish out this barn in all its details. And we'll just go ahead and start assembling all the pieces together to create this card front. So I added on my hill and my windmill. I added a uh, silver, just like a brushed silver paper on top for added interest on that windmill. And then I added my grass and my fence pieces. These fence pieces do come from the Build a Barn die set. And I'm just putting that on over the top of my barn with some foam tape. Now I'm taking the packaging that my little eyeballs came in and it's really thin and I can easily manipulate this but it's still cellophane. So I'm gonna take the buttons and I'm gonna add it to a piece of the cellophane with a glue dot. And then I'm gonna wrap the cellophane around the button so it looks like a piece of candy, like a piece of wrapped candy. So I'll secure the back of that same cellophane with a glue dot. And then I'm just gonna twist and twist and twist. I didn't end up using any glue to secure these. Um, if it got a little wild and crazy, I did use an extra glue dot when I ended up sticking them down. But I am adding a Your Sweet die cut element from Lawn Fawn um, at the bottom of my grass. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue on it now. And then what I like to do with these really super fine die cuts is leave it to dry for just a minute. That glue starts to set up. So when I stick this down, my little bits of glue aren't gonna squish out to the side as much. So I just finished off two more pieces of button candy while I waited for that to set up. Then I can go ahead and stick it down and no glue squishes out. I love it. So I'm adding those button candies on with some glue dots because this die cut doesn't quite go all the way edge to edge on my six by six card front panel and that kind of masks those end pieces really well. So take a look at that button candy. Isn't it it's so cute? The buttons are glittery 
and they're the perfect colors for this card. All right, so I'm going to go over your suite with my clear Wink of Stella just to have that stand out. And, you know, when you're creating two cards that coordinate, if you just leave out the things that you use to make the first card, then you're like, oh, where can I add this? And then you start being able to kind of give yourself ideas just because you left that out. Now I'm adding some of those wiggly eyes to each of the openings on my shaker card for some more fun. And then a sentiment that says trick or treat. I believe this one is from costume party stamp set. I used both of them, the fox costumes and the costume party stamp set, as well as the spider from Tiny Halloween that I'm stamping off my windmill, off my roof of my barn and off my sentiment. It's so cute having that little spider dangle there. It's just love is in the details and that's one of the details on this card. So I'm gluing my card front down to a six by 12 card base. Both my cards today are six by six. I'm taking my orange barn that I had left over and using that as the inside panel for this card where you could write your sentiment. I'm gonna add um, happy Halloween and I did a horrible job die cutting this barn roof from a scrap of paper before I sent off my die set to Jen. And so again, I have bats to the rescue to mask those areas that aren't awesome. <laughs> Thank you, bats. I added one more button when I thought this card was finished to the center of the windmill. It just seemed to be like a cute little addition. So that finishes up card number two. I had so much fun making these Halloween cards. I love the Build a House series from honeybee the with the camper the barn they have an actual house i will link those things for you below if you want to check them out and make sure that you go over and check out jen's video next so you can see what she made with the things i sent her and the things that she sent me we love doing these collaborations together and have become great friends through the process and i am gonna go watch her video right now because i'm so excited to see it i thank you so much for stopping by and i hope that you are having a fabulous week and I will be back again very soon with more crafty videos just for you. Happy stamping! Bye!